Problem number three. The resistance of a 10 feet length of a resistor material having a cross section of 0.00204 square inch is 4.1 ohms. The resistance at the same temperature of a 12 feet length of the same material is 7.7 .7 ohms. Determine its cross section in square inch. Okay. So again, we have two different conductor. So we have a 10 feet conductor and a 12 feet conductor. So our first step is to compare the given parameters of both conductors. Okay. So for conductor number one, these are the given. So conductor number one, we have a cross sectional area of 0 0.0024 square inch, length of 10 feet, and a resistance of 4.1 ohms. How about for conductor number two? For conductor number two, the unknown is not the the cross sectional area is not given. So that will be our unknown. So length is 12 feet and a resistance of 7.7 .7 ohms. Okay. Same with our two previous problem solve. They have the same material. Okay. So I think it's clear now to everyone that if the both conductors have the same materials, their resistivity is equal. That's correct. So we'll start with this one. So the resistivity of conductor 1 is equal to the resistivity of conductor 2. Then let's recall the formula for our resistance. That is the resistivity length all over the cross-sectional area. Okay, so we transpose the formula in terms of resistivity. So the resistivity is equal to resistance times the cross-sectional area times all over the length. So this formula, the value of resistance will be substituted to our condition, first condition. We'll do it right away. Okay, so for conductor, for resistivity, it's equal to the resistance of con one, the cross-sectional area of conductor one all over the length of conductor one is equal to the resistance of conductor two, the cross-sectional of conductor two, all over the uh, length of conductor two. Okay, okay. So let's check if everything is if if data is available. So for resistance one, we have available is the cross-sectional area of conductor one is available. Resistance of two is available. And the cross-sectional area of conductor 2 is the unknown. So both length is given. Okay. So how about the formula for cross-sectional area for the diameter? We're no longer going to use this. Because the given is in the square inch. It's already a cross-sectional area. Okay. So let's solve it right away so we have a resistance what is our resistance that is 4.1 ohms cross-sectional area that is 0 uh, 0.0024 square inch all over the length of 10 feet equal to the resistance of the other side that is 7.7 .7 ohms and the cross-sectional area of our second conductor is our unknown all over the length of 12 feet okay so we do cancellation of units length feet of both sides cancel out the resistance of conductor one cancel out and the resistance of conductor two the remaining unit is in a square inch. That is the unit of our unknown. Okay? So, doing the math, the cross-sectional area of conductor 2 is uh, 
zero five times ten negative three square inch, or we can simply write it to milli milli square inch, or we can rewrite it to we remove the scientific notation. We move to the left. That is zero zero. 1303 square inch. So that is the cross sectional area of our second conductor.